Hello, I am Dr. James, and this is my micro video. And this is the reading and writing the lesson plan. And the part of, of the plan that I'm using is instruct and model. And the uh, story that we're reading is the lady or the tiger. And we are learning about sensory details and imagery. Class. Now we will learn more about sensory details and imagery that are related to the lady or the tiger by brainstorming and using graphics of the tiger, the arena, the old iron bell, and professional mourners. You might ask yourself, what is energy? Well, in writing, sensory language is a way for a writer to help the reader to see or connect with an image a description, an action, or a scene. Sensory language is language that connects to the five senses. Sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. To create an image or a description. It brings you, the reader, into the world that the author or writer is creating. And writers make use of the five senses to get your interest or attention. Uh, we're going to look at some image language and we'll put it up. And we all can look at it and read it and see how exciting it can be. Here's imagery language. Okay, we're going to talk about the tiger. Okay, a hungry tiger came into the arena. The ferocious and most cruel tiger, that's what they did that could be purchased or bought. And the tiger immediately sprung upon the planned guilty man. The man wasn't guilty, but they made him guilty and tore him to pieces as a punishment for supposed guilt. Another example of energy language. Let's look. Oh, iron bells. What were they doing? They were ringing mournfully. They were ringing sad. And they were clanking. Can you see that picture in your mind? Yes. Let's look at one more image. Language. The hired professional mourners. See these mourners? They did what? They made loud screams, shrieks, yell. They hooped, they hollered, and they raised loud voices. Okay, can you see that? Can you imagine what the professional mourners sound like? and what they look like. Yes. What sensory word could be used to describe the sound of unhappy iron bells? Yes, melancholy. Sorrowful, yes. What else? C 
climb. Long deep sound. That's good. I think of something that else. Bong. Bong. Bang. Let's think of one more. Clang. Clang. Very good. Very good. Okay. What word could be used to describe the sound of the hired professional mourners? Good screaming. Yes. Another word, wailing, loud and long. Another word, sad crying. Hmm. Howling, yes, yes. And one more, sobbing. Very good, very good. Now I let, as we close out, I take a piece of paper and write a, a word that can des describe the mourners. Don't use any of the words that we've already used, but you think of some words or look up some words of mourners. Not only professional mourners, but mourners that you see sometimes at, at funerals or when something has happened uh, that you would use if you were writing a little uh, paragraph or writing a little short story. Uh, use some words, get a word that you would use that would uh, make me interested in what you're writing. And thank you, everyone. I think you did real well. Get, get the idea. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Talk to you.